Product Lifecycle Management, PLM. This is going to involve a lot of facets of your business, and some of what you want to achieve in a PLM system could involve external stakeholders. This is why SOLIDWORKS Manage includes web access, which will include just about everything you'd see in the full Windows client interface, but in a web browser. The full plenary web client is great for users that require all the functionality that I typically use in the regular Windows client. As long as I give permission for someone to access SOLIDWORKS Manage via the web, they can have a quick way to easily collaborate, regardless of their location, operating system, or browser type. If I want to collaborate with external users, or perhaps even folks within the company whom I want to have access to limited information, I may not even want them to see certain parts of the user interface or know that they exist. This functionality is offered within the SOLIDWORKS Managed targeted web client. Let's take a look at an example of how we might interact with a supplier who needs to communicate changes to our organization. In this case, we've given access to one of our primary contacts at the supplier company to log in with limited credentials, and he can interact only with the parts of the system that we've given him permission for. We can see that he's allowed to submit new engineering change requests to our team that relate to the materials they provide us for manufacturing. The supplier is allowed to upload new ECRs in the system, but it will be up to our internal team to choose how to move forward with that change request. Maybe that new material doesn't meet our specifications, so we would need to look for an alternate supplier, or perhaps minor changes to the material properties could require design changes or analysis. These are all critical items that we can address in a streamlined fashion by allowing direct collaboration with our external resources. We see here that the supplier contact, Dave, is able to submit his ECR with attached documentation that spells out details of the changes being made. We can now quickly make decisions about what that means for the life cycle of our product moving forward. If there's going to be any back and forth required from Dave, we can allow him to see those records that he's created, to monitor the status, but disable visibility to other ECR records that he has not been involved with. When we add all this together, it makes for a great way to streamline our communication internally and externally, and make sure that we're not missing any information along the way. For more tips, tricks, and videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Hawkridge Systems on YouTube. <laughs>